Hi everyone, I'm Jacqueline. I am one of the owners of Open Farm and this is my first attempt at a video blog. I haven't been on camera too much before so I brought along Belle the Pug, my daughter, for moral support today. So far she's doing a great job. Um, and we are starting this vlog to kind of open up the doors to Open Farm. Um, I think a lot of dog food companies are kind of a you know big black box. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I definitely felt that way before I had a dog food company, which is why I started a dog food company. Uh, and so we really want to be an open book and take you along on our journey um, to produce our food, which is an ethically raised and sourced pet food. So what I want to start off by doing today is by talking about something that we get asked about a lot, which is... What is the humane claim that you put on your bag? How do you support that claim? Um, and what does it mean to you? And I think that, first of all, it's great that we get these questions because it shows that consumers more and more care about where their food is coming from, how it's raised, and they're looking for companies to be accountable to that. Uh, you know, I think one of the other issues is there's a ton of labels out there. Okay, Bella abandoned me, but I'll press on. Uh, there's a lot of labels out there, you know, cage-free, free-run, and, you know, a lot of it's marketing, and a lot of it is just generally very, very confusing. Uh, and so especially with the term humane, it's obviously totally subjective. Everybody has a different view about what that means. And so if you're going to put that term on your bag, you need to have a very objective, very detailed framework for what humane means to you as a company and how it applies to the farm animals and the way that they're raised every single day. So what we do is we partner with leading third-party nonprofit organizations who specialize in humane farm animal care, which means all that they do all day um, is uh, they basically oversee their label, which is made up of a set of standards for how the farm animals are raised. So things like, you know, what the farm animals are fed, minimum space requirements, handling requirements, and all of these requirements are designed to allow the animals to just lead a natural life and be animals, which seems extremely basic, but which is something that is not um, available to animals in a factory farm. They, they really don't have those basic necessities and comforts of life to just, you know, be an animal. So, um, you know, the other key question is, okay, you have a framework, now, how is that framework enforced? So there has to be an audit process, which under the Certified Humane Program, there is. And the whole point here um, of working with a third-party organization like this is transparency. So that you, as a consumer, can go online, you can see the standards for how the farm animals are raised, and you can make a decision as to whether to support um, a product, whether to support open farm um, or not. And uh, that's really ultimately what we're trying to do. So uh, I think there's a lot of, you know, meat, haha, uh, <laughs> when it comes to this topic, you know, a lot of uh, different opinions. So would love to see your questions and comments on what humane means to you. What do you think companies need to be doing to put that label on their bag? Uh, and we will discuss next time. So thanks for listening to my first vlog and see you soon.